You must suck at playing wide receiver on Ultimate Football. Well, this video is just for you. I'm gonna teach you everything. The technique, how to dome people, tips and tricks. All right, let's get right into it. Also, guys, I'm choosing one lucky winner to win the Season 2 Battle Pass. Like this video, get this video 150 likes, and subscribe to the channel, and comment done. For the first part of this video, I'm going over the technique. So I'm going to teach you what to do when the ball is thrown to you and how to catch it properly. All right, let's get right into it. Also on the top left, I have my controller input, but this video is for people with keyboard and mouse and mobile. Okay, pay attention to the quarterback. Make sure they're not about to throw it. And when they do throw it, get ready. Jump, attack the ball. Don't just sit there and not jump. And you know what I'm saying? You should catch it. But it's not just jumping and catching. It's way more to it. You have to angle it perfectly. And this second angle I got right here, the QB throws it a little bit to the right, I think. He throws it a little bit to the, oh no, my side is the left, but basically like, watch this. I angle it like that, but you have to jump at the perfect time to make sure you get it. It's way more to it and you have to be fast with it too. Okay, so sometimes the quarterback makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when they're playing football. You got wide receivers who don't catch the ball and you got quarterbacks who throw it way too high or, or like throw it way too low. But in this clip right here, the quarterback throws it way too low. If the quarterback throws it way too low, just dive. Like dive in the angle where he throws it too low. You have to be fast with it too. But dive. Don't just sit there and like click because sometimes you might miss it. I've missed it several of times when I didn't dive. But yeah, dive. And also don't jump because then you'll definitely miss it then. Okay, let's say if the quarterback throws it way too high. There's a thing called a reel. You reel it in and you dive in and catch it in bounds. In the second clip I got right here, he threw it a little bit to the side of the out of bounds area. And then you like dive like that. But you have to make sure you're in bounds or you won't get the reception and a touchdown basically you might say incomplete it's really up to the game you know what i'm saying all right so in this clip i'm gonna teach you how to cut you do like shift and out of shift that's what i do um shift for controller is y and shift for pc is um just shift you know what i'm saying and for mobile it's like a button that you click but yeah that's like the best way to get open it's like just keep going in and out of shift and it gets you a huge burn okay so my favorite route and my best thing to do when I want to get open if I can't get open from doing that shift and out of shift thing okay so it's called a comeback route but you have to have a smart quarterback because if the quarterback isn't smart they won't get it so you keep going straight the cornerback will be confused you come back and you get it a dime you know what I'm saying it's the best way to get open and it's so easy unless you got a super good cornerback or, or a bad quarterback you know because sometimes the quarterback doesn't catch up on that Okay, if you've been a fan of me for a while, you know that my favorite phrase is GET DOMED! You know what I'm saying? That's like my favorite phrase. I say it in like mostly all my videos. If you want to start saying get domed, start saying it right now. I'm going to teach you how to dome somebody. Okay, so it's different than catching. This is only if you want to dome somebody, but you have to be perfect with it. You have to time it perfectly. And it's not just, it's kind of harder than catching because when you're catching, you're just jumping and clicking. But right here, you have to jump, dive, and click. But you have to like do it all at the same time or you're or like you might miss it, you know? So you have to like it's it's kind of harder than just regular catching. Okay, so look in the um replay. Quarterback throws it, I get ready, I jump, dive, and click. But you have to like click before you dive. It's weird. Okay, so jump, click, and dive, basically. But you have to do it at the perfect time. And you have to be better than the cornerback because they do it before you. Like if they jump and click before you, it's over. They're gonna get it. But yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we'll teach you the best way to get open if the cuts aren't working, if my route is not working. But you have to do this if the defensive back or the cornerback is in front of you like that. You block them. But sometimes it might not work and you might get blocked out of the way. But yeah, the, it works like 50% of the time. It really just depends on the cornerback, really. Okay, let's say you're in a real public game, right? And the cornerback sees you and you have a huge burn like what I'm about to get right now. I got a burn, right? It's like a, it's like a few inches of a burn. I'm wide open and I get the score. Do not dive. When I play quarterback, I see so many wide receivers. They dive and then they get tackled instead of going for the touchdown. Only dive if it's like a huge fit and you have to dive in order to get it. But that's the only way you need to dive. These right here are the results after you learned everything from this video from beginning to end. I'm going to go through a whole drive of me playing wide receiver.
Okay, so now that I've taught you how to play wide receiver, now I'll give you my tips and tricks of playing wide receiver on Ultimate Football. Okay, so in this clip, this wide receiver didn't click early enough to catch the ball. Don't be this guy. Look at that. He got mean, by the way. I mean, look at that, dude. Come on now, bro. All right, so in this clip right here, I, I was in a group, a crowd of people, and I called it because I jumped. I attacked the ball. I got in front of everybody because it was an entire group, and I called it in front of like everybody else. Okay, so in this clip right here, I paid attention to the quarterback the entire time and it got me the catch, right? So I kept looking, like, I kept looking, right? So when he threw it, I had to dive because if I didn't, the cornerback would have probably called it, but the cornerback that was guarding me didn't attack the ball, so I got it. I know this is a kick, but I still wanted to put it in here to show y'all how to dome. I dived and I got the dome. It was pretty cool. I posted that as a YouTube shorts on YouTube. Y'all should go watch it, by the way. But yeah, so, and then I commented, I um type get domed in chat. I was it was wild, but yeah, I wanted to put it in there. Okay, so in this clip right here, the quarterback right, all right, watch this. He tosses it up right, and it was too high. It was way too high. I get it, and I I jumped on someone's head, which boosted me up, and I got it. It was wild. All right, so right here I attacked the ball. Just a regular catch, but I attacked. Oh, dirt faced him. But yeah, I attacked the ball. I jumped up and attacked. You know, I got in front of everybody. Okay, so right here I'm in another big group. I get in front, I attack. I jump, I don't dive, I just attack. Y'all have to start attacking when y'all are catching. You know, start attacking, get in front. Don't get in back, get in front. You can see in the replay right here, like watch this. I get in front of everybody. Well, not really, I don't really get in front. It's really about the angle, to be honest, because watch this. I did get in front, actually. And yeah, y'all have to start getting in front and attacking the ball and angling it. Okay, so in this clip right here, I, j I head tapped this dude. He didn't even click, bro. Y'all have to start clicking. Like, y'all, you see what I'm saying? You see how I, like, was in, like, the quarterback sold me. He threw it way too low. I, like, attacked the ball, and I still called it because, you know, I attacked the ball, even though it was low. Okay, so in this clip right here, the quarterback throws it out of bounds, and I get it. I reeled it. That's how you reel right there. That's a perfect reel. If you've made it to this part, I want you to comment done times two if you comment this i'll know that you specifically watch from beginning to end i know in the front of the video i said comment done but if you comment done times two i'll know that you watch from beginning to end and that's how i'll actually choose the winner of the season two battle pass but if multiple people comment done times two then i'll just like do like a spin and i'll spin out of those people who comment done times two but before i end the video i just want to say thank you for watching this video took some time to make because I actually put a lot into this because I actually do want to teach y'all how to catch. Like I see a lot of people when I'm quarterback, they don't know how to catch, bro. That's why I had to make this tutorial so I can get better wide receivers on my team. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another one.